In an update to a story we covered last night, Portland police released photos of suspects in violent Antifa clashes that injured conservative writers and others. And according to Newsbusters, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, and the New York Times all ignored the Antifa violence and beating of Andy No. Joining us now is host of Reality Check with David Webb on Fox Nation and columnist at The Hill, David Webb, and author of an intro to the Mueller Report, Harvard Law School Emeritus Professor Alan Dershowitz. Uh, David, I'll go to you first. You know, I, I always say the, the irony of conservatism is conservative governance in cities benefits conservatives and liberals. Right. Yet the opposite is true for liberalism. It burns liberals and conservatives at the same time. I mean, look at the Giuliani years compared to what's happening in New York right now with de Blasio. The city's falling apart. Yeah, I mean, the reality, if you look at Dinkins to Giuliani and what happened in New York, what happened was proper policing and law enforcement. That's not a left or right issue. And law enforcement is frustrated. I talked to officers in Chicago, not just about the Jussie Small, that case, but about how they're policing. And, and they feel that the mayoral agency that runs the city doesn't have their back. It's not just the mayor, but it's the establishment. And now you're seeing the police in some form of a revolt saying, we just want to do our job to protect citizens no matter what. That's common in law enforcement, not the outliers that you, ser you occasionally have. And in the summer when it heats up, Dan, you've seen this. Yeah. The hot days of summer lead to a variety of things that increase in shootings, but robberies are also up. If you look at these Comstat report in these cities, you're starting to see it's a lagging indicator, but you're you're beginning to see robberies. You go to the precinct level, the complaints from the commanders, the day commanders. This is a real problem, not only in Chicago, but in many cities around the country, liberal-run cities. Yeah. Professor Dershowitz, wherever you see a, a liberal monopoly where they're in charge in these big cities, sadly, many times you see high crime, you see lawlessness, you see some pockets of poverty that, that seem unbreakable. I mean, what's the common thread here? Obviously, it seems to be this liberal form of government. So, uh, governance. Am I, am I reading this wrong? I think you're reading it wrong. I think uh, when Ed Koch was mayor of New York, uh, New York was a, a wonderful city. I live in New York part of the year now. I think it's a wonderful city. I don't support de Blasio for many of his economic reasons, but I think you way, way overstate the problems in New York and attribute them to one party rather than the other. Uh, Chicago is a different story. Chicago really has very, very serious problems. Some of the West Coast cities have serious problems, but I think they're endemic often to urban centers. Where I think we really do have a problem that your initial uh, uh, dis point made was about uh, Antifa. I've been victims. Uh, when I've spoken at schools like Berkeley, I've been threatened by uh, Antifa, and I really do think the government has to do something to stop extreme left-wing threats and violence to centrist, moderate, liberal speakers like me. I'm not radical enough for Antifa, so they try to prevent me from speaking, and that's been a real problem on university campuses. Look, we live in a federal system, and the federal system gives authority to the cities to make their own mistakes and their own decisions. The president really can't intrude on that except in extreme cases under the supremacy clause. We have to leave it to the cities and to the voters to decide whether they like what they get in the cities or not. You know, on the legal analysis, Dan, I'll defer, of course, to Alan. Great to see you, by the way. He looks you, pretty good for the, Thank you. for the summer out there. But, you know, the Koch administration had done something, and I've had this discussion. I live in New York. I love it like he does, that Koch had a relationship and an understanding of proper policing and neighborhood policing. That's a key difference. Unfortunately, in these cities, that fractured relationship. On the Antifa issue, the FBI is waiting on them, their activities. He's right about the supremacy clause on a number of issues. I would never argue with his his uh, expertise find on that. It's kind but... of ridiculous that Antifa calls himself anti-fascist as they go to the streets and beat the crap yeah. out of people. Kind of an interesting. And, and a final, if you relegate your, if you, all right, Thanks, Alan. David, got to run.